Former IFBB pro Johnny Morant has passed. Dave Palumbo here with an RX Muscle news update. Former IFBB pro Johnny Morant has passed. We just got news, I believe it was yesterday, that he passed. I've heard conflicting stories at this point as to what was the cause of it. One report I heard was that um, it was a stroke, possibly during a surgery. Um, I also talked to my good friend Dwayne McDaniels at Diamond Gym. And he told me that uh, he heard, had heard that Johnny had had a, a kidney and heart transplant. I'm not really sure if any of those are accurate statements. So we're still trying to find out what the cause of death was. Johnny was a mainstay at Diamond Gym there back in the 90s and late 80s. He won the 1989 USA Championships at heavyweight. And then he, he lost the overall. Back then you had to win the overall. And then he went on to do the... North American Championships, and he won that overall and got his IFBB Pro card. Following year in 1990, he actually placed fourth at the Night of Champions. And then in 91 and 92, he went to the WBF, which was that organization that Vince McMahon ran for a while, that bodybuilding organization. They were paying the athletes really, really high amounts of money, and then that kind of disbanded after two years. But Johnny, you know, used to train at the Diamond Gym, and my good friend Jason Arnst and I just got off the phone and he said that he was an absolute genetic freak. This guy was just like humongous. He would, look at, he would look at a squat rack, Jason said, and his legs would grow. And, you know, I remember seeing him at shows in the early 90s, and it was, he was bigger than life, this guy. Uh, probably his, you know, the biggest knock against him was he just didn't like to diet for competition, so he never really got as, as grainy and shredded as he should have. Had he done that, he probably would have won multiple contests. Matter of fact, Jason told me a really great story that Johnny had told him. I guess Dorian had been at the gym, Diamond Gym, at one point in the, in the mid-90s. And I guess Dorian went up to, or Johnny went up to Dorian and, and introduced himself. And, and Dorian said, I know who you are. You're Johnny Morant. He goes, biggest waste of genetic talent. <laughs> right in his face. And Johnny went and was telling Jason the story, he goes, I couldn't believe that this guy had the audacity to say to me that I was a waste of talent. <laughs> and he said, I couldn't even be mad at him because I knew he was right. Which is, you know, to have that kind of insight about yourself is, is pretty impressive. But Dorian thought that Johnny Morant was that good of a bodybuilder, had that much genetic potential that, you know, he could have gone all the way. And that's just a testament to how good genetically he was. As a matter of fact, Johnny Morant's had a son who went to the NFL, and I think he also was actually drafted by the, the NBA as well. He played for the Raiders for two years, so there's, you know, we're talking good genetics here. And what I noticed about Johnny was that he was a very likable person. Even though he was very intimidating looking, especially when I was coming up, because I was still kind of on the small side, he, was, he would talk to anyone. You know, I never heard anyone like say they had a, a beef with him or anything like that. He was just like one of these guys that everyone liked at the gym. He trained hardcore, you know, he was, he was um, one of these guys that liked to train heavy. His problem was he didn't like to diet. Had he liked to diet, he probably would have been the, the craziest, you know, genetic freak of that generation because he had so much mass on his body. His legs were so big, they, re they really reminded me of like, you know, Kai Green's legs, they were huge. And he had all the tool set. To, to go very far, but obviously that you know it wasn't a priority for him, and he did other things in his life. But it's a shame that you know we lost him. I know we, I think he was around sixty years old. You know, Jason and I were trying to figure out his age, and Jason thought that he was sixty. And like I said, Jason was very close to him because he was always in the gym. Jason ran Diamond Gym for a while, and Johnny was always in there. And you know, these guys. If you ever went to Diamond Gym, and if you've seen any of the Bros vs. Pros challenges we do there, that's a hardcore gym. Those guys train there, and they. Every day is like a competition between the guys in the gym, you know? So it's not like you go there and you do a relaxing workout. You're training because you're trying to outdo the guy next to you. 
And that's why that gym cranked out so many great bodybuilders over the years, because there was that camaraderie there, but there was also the, the, the competition that existed within the gym itself. Uh, and that's when, back when John Kemper owned that gym. And now Dwayne McDaniels owns it, and he's taken it even to the next level. So it's still a, a hardcore haven, but it's, uh, it's grown, and uh, it probably is even better now than it was back then. So Johnny Morant, we're going to miss you, man. Um, I, wish, I wish you would have gone further with those gifts that you had, but at the end of the day, you know, you were part of that 80s, 90s, hardcore era of guys who just loved to go to the gym, bang the weights, didn't care about air conditioning, didn't care about heat, didn't care about tank tops. It was all about how much iron you can push in the gym and how much respect you can get from the guy next to you in the gym. And that's what you'll be remembered for, a true hardcore iron warrior. I just want to send out my prayers, condolences, and love to Johnny's family and his kids and his fans. You'll be remembered by our community for sure. It's a sad day in the bodybuilding world. Dave Palumbo with an RX Muscle News Update.